Hello everyone, so for today we'll try to do some small review of a class that you had with a professor where you did a program which is supposed to, to calculate your gas expenditure of your car. So there was a small mistake in during the class that professor did, so I will try to correct it and to explain what the mistake was. So let us first do the code part where we will go new project in 32 condo application and we will give it a name gas expenditure okay so next uh, we will do empty project and finish uh, now in source files we need to add this new item c++ file and we will give it a name uh, gas expenditure again Okay, add, and here, as usual, we need to include iostream, iostream, there it is, after that, using, I'm sorry, using name space std and int main. Inside of main, we need to do uh, int distance uh, control C in distance so we will calculate it calculate this based on the distance and we need our formula that we found out it is uh, distance over 100 times 5 times 1.8 and to look a little nicer, we will add blank space km and end. Okay, so return zero. So this is the basic program that you did during the class, and it will work fine for some numbers. So here we will do this system pause so we can we can look at it a little closer system double quotes pause capital letters and semicolon here so you see sometimes when you don't add semicolon the next line is uh, the next word is underlined with the red it says error expected a, a semicolon so you need to put semicolon and it will renew so let's go see how it works now we need to put a distance here and i will put let's say 500 and i should get 45 let's see if it's going to work 45 yeah so press any key to continue enter okay but what will happen if i put the number 599 i should get bigger number than 45 but yeah let's see again 45 so there must be some mistake so for those who doesn't know integer is for whole numbers so if we put integer distance we put just whole numbers uh, and if we put here 595 it is a whole number but here we are uh, printing out distance divided by 100 for so if we divide 599 by 100 it is a 5 and we have remainder 99 so basically that remainder is just forgotten and you even if you put 599 the the result of this division is 5 and so you get the same number 45 as, as the result in order in order to change this you can do two things you can basically put here 0 0.0 so if we have two numbers that are dividing each other in order to make it not the whole number but double which we call double we need to put any of these two numbers in double data type it is called data type so in this way if we go if we try to execute now we go 599 and we get 53.91 km 
which is correct. So you can, however, you can do another way. Let's delete this one and we can put here double. So in this way, we define this number, this variable as double. It means it can hold decimal numbers. So a uh, result of this division is going to be double because one of these two is double. We can put either this one or this one. Uh, if we try to execute the program now, you'll, you'll see it. we will have the same result, 599, 53.91. So basically that's it. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.